In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a stair stringer in Google SketchUp. The first thing we are going to do is click on the Shapes tool with a rectangle. And don't forget, you can always change your, change your designs there, what you want. Rectangle. Click on that, drag it down to here. Just make a little box. You can make it any size because we're going to go down to this area here and just watch this. I'm going to type in on my keyboard uh, 1.5 inches, put a comma, and make it 11 inches. That gives me a little box there. I'm going to push P on my keyboard. That switches it to the push and pull tool. I'm going to pull up on this. Doesn't matter how much I pull up. We're going back to this box. I'm going to type in seven inches. Enter, that gives me a little seven inch box. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this. Give you a better idea of what I'm doing. So right now I have a seven inch riser and an 11 inch tread. Now here's the beauty of this right here. I'm going to highlight it by simply dragging back like that and push M on my keyboard, which takes me to the Move tool. I'm going to grab the bottom of this. You can see how it turns green at the bottom there. I'm going to right-click on my mouse, start dragging, but I'm going to push the Control key. And then I'm going to click it to right there. And that gives me my first kind of two-step stringers. Now here's the beauty of this and SketchUp. You can watch the box down here. I'm going to type in four. Oh, I probably messed up. Let me go back. Control Z. I'm going to highlight this. Move it. Control. Get that. And now I'm just going to type in four. X. You'd see, you can see the 4X down here, and I'm going to push Enter. Now oh, I'm probably messing it up because I'm dragging my mouse back here to show you. But now since I have showed you that, on Control Z, we'll do it one more time, and I'm going to triple click this. That's the same as, as uh, dragging backwards. So I can drag backwards, or I can triple click. I'm going to push the M on my keyboard, grab the bottom, control, ding. I'm not going to waste any time. 4X, enter, and I have three extra parts for my stringer. Now, this gives me this shape right here. And it's starting to look like a stair stringer. Now, if I wanted, if I only wanted two more, two more little stringer boxes, then I would have just typed in three down here in my box. If I wanted 10 more, then I would have typed in 11, and then that would have give, given me that. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is go grab the little pencil up here or our line tool. Click down here, up here, voila. Now, if we look over here, it hasn't taken us all the way over here, and we haven't done anything here. But all we got to do is click on this. And we're done. Now we're going to want to grab the eraser tool and just simply go through and clean this thing up. And you can just click on it. Click, click, back up, and you have a stair stringer. That is about the easiest way. And you can always change your steps. If you need a five inch riser, you just type in five inches where I typed in seven. If you need a 10 inch tread, you type in 10 inches where I typed in 10. And if you want to color it, you can triple click it, grab your paint bucket and pick any color you want. It'll turn the whole stair stringer into that color. If you want a wood look, kind of like a plywood look, click on it. That gives you gives you a wood look. Now you can always go up here in the edit area and change the color 
of this stuff by dragging this around and I thought that was kind of neat. Another thing I found out was you could come down here and change the let's say it looks like those are some big knots just change that to a two and it makes the knots a little smaller. Anyway that is it for this video. I've been wanting to make it for quite some time. Give you an idea of how to make a stair stringer.